Today I want to look at the positioning of the bridge. I mean the difference between this bridge from the base to the bridge itself. I think it's about 50 mil. This one's 60 mil, and this one is 120 mil. And you know you can see there's not 10 mil difference between these two, although there is 10 mil difference between the position of the bridge. And there's no way there's a 120 mil difference between. Uh, if that was 120. Or 60, there's no, you know, that's not 60 mil difference. So how do we determine where this is going to be? And it is so simple. Well, there's no magic formula involved. It's very, very simple actually. Uh, I've actually got a fretboard made up here, and this is all I use. I have a st my neck here is a uh, is the neck that I use now on all my guitars, so I know exactly where it's going to be. But the simple formula is, you work out where your nut is. and come down to the 12th fret. Mark off the 12th fret and then do the same again. The nut from that 12th fret to the 12th fret again is where the bridge is. And that's for every, doesn't matter what scale you're using, that is it, that's what you have to do. You use your one octave, nut to 12, then your other octave, nut to 12, nut to bridge, nut to bridge, 12 <laughs> to, to bridge, and that is it. It is always going to be in that position, always. Uh, but obviously, these do vary because they're different size boxes, but also. Uh, you can see that the neck, some have more f frets than the others. Yeah, this one's pretty much the same. Now, when I made this neck, it was slightly short. And I could have had it cut off there. Uh, but it would have only had about 17, 18 frets. So I decided to overlap onto the body. And it's worked out a treat. This one was slightly longer, so I ended it on the body, and again this one's slightly longer, so I ended it on the body. If this if this neck now was to go onto here, there's a difference there because the end of the box should be here, so I'd have to cut. I'd have to cut a bit off the end. I'd have to cut a bit off the end here. But really, this is the bare minimum. You want your, your bridge, that's the bare minimum. That's about two inches, 50 millimeters. You don't really want that any nearer the end of the box. So that's something to keep in mind. And just to prove that this works, G, interrupted by my voice, D, G, now play it on the 12th fret, G, D, G, so the intonation is correct. Give me a thumb on it. Squeaky. So, yeah. 
that's all it is. No science, no maths involved, nothing really. In a lot of cases, it wouldn't really matter. Um, you know, you've got your standard size box, and you you put your your bridge where you wanted to, and you pick up in relation to it as well. That's fine on a plain box, but uh, when you've got something with a bit of graphic on it like this, you have to work it all out beforehand. Now, I know for a fact that this one is the same size as this one here. Uh, I don't see that. Uh, yeah, so the bridge, again, is going to be aligned in the same place because it's the same type of neck. Uh, and I'm going to bring the pickup down here because that was where so the pickup's going to go across the, th the front of the masks which won't be quite so bad um, yeah, yeah so or I could put the pickup up the top here but it's going to be very close to that neck so yeah so when you've got graphics it can be a bit more difficult to work out where you want to put things now, ideally, if I didn't like it, uh, where is it? If I didn't like the bridge across there, across that area, then I could bring it down a bit lower. But if I brought it down lower, then obviously everything with the guitar, guitar and neck, has got to go in that direction as well, because these points are fixed. That point there from the 12th to the bridge is a fixed point. So that would have to, if I move the bridge down here, that 12th fret would have to come down as well. Which would make this quite short on the end, although you could just extend it over. You could extend it down here with a few frets coming down so you're not losing these higher notes. I hope that made sense. Uh, same with this one. another one here you've got to be careful that you don't ruin the graphics so therefore pick up up the top by the neck now this one it will be you know if I put it if I put the bridge there you're obscuring a fair bit of the uh, picture so I'm, I intend to bring it down bringing the neck down as well to compensate I might even bring it even further down down there so on this one, because there's no writing at the top like that one, I will probably extend the neck down this way a bit, just losing a bit of a hand. Maybe, maybe not. I'll see how it goes when I get that far. But yeah, so when you're using graphics, you have to be a little bit more careful with the positioning. But the golden rule is nut to 12, using a nut again. There you go, nut to 12, on the 12th fret, nut on the 12th fret, where the 12th fret ends again, that's where the bridge is. Well I hope that helps, and I didn't muddle my way through there too much. <laughs> See you next time. Just a footnote, I think what I will do next time, next build I do, will be this Union Jack, Union Jack there. Looks nice and distressed. Pretty much license plate size. I'm going to have to make a new box for it. Um, we've got plenty of necks made up already, so I've got four, no, three here. So, because I've done the hard work, it shouldn't take too long to finish it off. Because these necks being 16 pieces, it's a fair old bit of work goes into those. So, yep, yeah, I've got some ready. So I think I might even tape this one. Tape the build so that uh, you can see how it, how it all goes together. It's going to be a narrow guitar. Yep, that's the next one. Until next time.